Welcome back to the Hawkins Smart Home Tour with our guest Frank Egan. So we're in our master bedroom today. Um, we'll show you what we have set up in here. So this is master bedroom, the bathrooms over here and the, the entrances here. So first of all, we have our uh, Amazon Echo Dot. So this is a great entryway to get into the, the Amazon uh, Echo system and uh, Lady A if you want to try it out. So it's their smaller device. We use it primarily for the drop-in functionality, which is their version of um, basically like a intercom system. So you saw my kitchen video, you, we, we have a, um, a full-size Echo down there. Um, so we use it for drop-in and announcements, which is their announcement system. Check the weather, add things for lists, things like that. Don't listen to too much music on it since it's a, a really tiny speaker, but it's really good for, for using a conference and kind of basic stuff. Um, as far as lights go, so um, in this room we have a, a ceiling fan with light fixture on it. And over here is the switches for it. Uh, this left switch is for an outlet, so that's just a regular dumb switch. But these two are uh, GE JSCO switches. So a, a dimmer switch here in the middle for the light and then the fan controller switch um, on the right. And this is a, a three-speed fan controller. So if you have your switches separate, separate like this, um, you can use these. And the good thing here is... Um, so our good night routine turns these light turns the light off, but then the fan on because we like to sleep with the fan on, and it also um, turns on our, light, our lamp over here. And I'll get to that in a minute. But we also have that connected to this mini mote. So this is an Aeon Labs mini mote, and this is one of my uh, one of my favorite devices because while well, the goal is to kind of automate everything, there is sometimes a need for some you know manual control. So this is a four button controller, and each of these. Serves a double function. You can have a short and a long press, but so we use the you know button one we use for the light, so it could turn it on and off. Um, button two we use for the the fan speed. So if I press two here, you know this it cycles through the different speeds. So I think it's coming down right now in speed, so it's slowing down to uh, low speed, I believe. And then button three here we have for the the lamp so it just toggles it on and off so it's a cool little device um, unfortunately they stopped manufacturing these so I've kind of stockpiled some of them for future product projects but um, there, there's some other manufacturers that make button controllers that you can do the same similar things with um, now so since we do have these this light on a, a smart switch a G Z wave switch we have a motion sensor in here so this is a uh, Xiaomi, I believe is how you pronounce it. I did have to Google that. Um, you might pronounce it Xiaomi if you, you haven't Googled it yet. But um, So it's a little cheap Chinese brand sensor. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it if for a beginning user on smart things because there are a couple hoops you have to jump through to, to get it to work. But um, it's a little tiny, super tiny. And we have it sitting on our windowsill there so that whenever at night, whenever we walk in through the door, it'll turn this light on for us. And... And same thing anytime during the day there's there's no motion in this room for 15 minutes it'll it'll cut the light and the fan off to save save some power we also have the light and fan and really the lamp to turn off whenever we leave the house so we're in a, a rush on the way out of the house and we've left this stuff on it'll it'll turn it off for us um <clears throat> we also have a an iris contact sensor on our window over here so right here and the magnets up here because the window is open right now um, and we use it, so in actually cases exactly like this where the window's open, um, here in Colorado it gets down to uh, usually, you know, 60s at night, even during the middle of the summer, so we like to sleep with the window open. Well, you know, as we go about our day, we might forget that we've left this open, and so we'll get a push notification if the air conditioning starts to run and the, um, the window is open, or the heat, you know, and during the winter, for some reason this is open, the heat kicks on, um, it'll let us know, hey, you're, you're wasting energy close your window. Uh, also, if it starts to rain, uh, we'll get a notification that the window is open. Uh, we also have an iris contact sensor up here on our, our door of the bedroom, and we use this mainly to uh, arm and disarm the alarm at night. So anybody that has a dog can relate to this, right, Frankie, where in the middle of the night he needs to go out or hear something and starts barking or whatever and wants to go outside. Um, so this is, is great. We don't have to go 
you know, digging through our phone to disarm our alarm system through smart things. This at night um, will will disarm it for us, and then automatically rearm it when we when we close it. So um, we found that it was a good use to add some automation to arming and disarming that alarm at night. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. So we had the contact sensor on the door there, a dimmer and a, a fan switch um, for our ceiling fixture, Sylvania Smart Plus bulb, and the lamp here. This is just the basic model, um, dim only. I think it's usually like 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, our mini moat to, for some manual control, the Xiaomi motion sensor, and then the contact sensor on the window. So. Um, all that in our, our master bedroom. So uh, leave me any comments if you have any questions or send me messages if you want some, some more detail on certain things and I'll, I'll put it together. So thanks for watching.